What's up, baby boo? It's your girl, Liddy in the city. I am out and about enjoying this beauteous weather in the Washington of D.C., honey. Ah, I feel like an Indian summer out here. I am just coming through for free beautiful with messes. Oh, my goodness. God is so amazing. Let me tell you something. The hidden things. God will hide you in plain sight. Not only in plain sight of others, but in plain sight of yourself. Because what he needs the enemy to do is believe that they got you. While he's working on your comeback, he will have you in isolation. He will have you feeling like, you know, the world is just this awful place, but he's cultivating you and he, he's putting his protective hedges around you at that very time that he's cultivating you and he's just like bringing out the hidden gems he's bringing out the essence he's you're going through a refinement period it's just like every prophet had to go through every follower of christ in the bible had to go through daniel was in the lion's den and then you had uh, shadrach meshach and abednego in the furnace in the fiery furnace and then you had joseph who was in jail for many years and his brothers threw him in the pit and then you had moses who was in isolation because he murdered a heap he murdered an egyptian or whatever have you and countless of many other followers david who was hiding out in the cave because saul was after his head god will put a situation in place so that you can isolate and and, and like what they call it isolate in place like with the whole covid situation but we're not bringing that into this situation but even during that time, you know, God would use certain situations for your greatest and highest good to refine you, to bring you to a bubble, a boiling over, so that he can remove the hops off the top and allow the creme de la creme to come through. And I just tell you, God is so amazing. He's great at doing that to the point you won't even know that it's happening. It's just like a butterfly being hidden in a cocoon, not knowing that she or he is about to experience the most experience beautiful life there is it's it's so funny i love that analogy of the butterfly in the cocoon because i'm sure that butterfly is going through everything it's losing its bodily form it's going into a goo form and it probably feels so ugly and and left and abandoned but god will never leave nor forsake us and he uses these things for our highest and greatest good all right y'all this is your girl Lydia in the city signing off peace